Okay, let's take a look at how I would approach to solve the exam in uh, statistics uh, from uh, 2018, 8th of January. In this folder, I have put two files, the files that are available or made available in the exam. There is the exam handout, a PDF file with details about the, the exam questions. So let's take it over here. And um, in addition to that, there is a CSV file, which we will uh, look into uh, for one of the, the later exercises. So first, let's uh, set up an RStudio document um, where we can uh, make our exercise or exam uh, submission. So first of all, start RStudio up and go up here and say create a new uh, notebook or our markdown document. I'll use a, a notebook here. I can always change to, to yellow type. So uh, here we can write what the, the course name is. Uh, that is an, it's uh, the exam in VB STA 5. And then I can just uh, clean up all of this. To progress in with this, I'll just uh, create uh, or save this document in the same directory as the exam handout and uh, the data file. So, um, yeah, um, hand, in doc hand in document. And I will, our studio will itself put uh, the proper suffix on, on the file name. So uh, what we can see here is we uh, can start to, to write our uh, document. Um, and I'll put the first headline into this document that matches this one. So investigating populations. And to make subheadings, I just add two of these uh, hashtags. So that'll be exercise 1A. Here yeah, about um, making a scatter plot. So let's see if we can do some of this. What um, what we asked it to do in the exam set is to recreate this plot over here. And to do that, we should uh, have a bit more uh, background um, information. And to get that, we can read the, the text in the exercise. And it reads that the Gapminder dataset contains information about expected life length, population size, gross domestic product for many countries in this time span from 1952 to 2007. In this question, you will have to investigate certain relations seen in the data for, from the year to 1992. So we can limit us to, to looking at data from 1992. Um, we also need to figure out where this Gapminder dataset uh, is. It's in a package, so we need to, to load that. Maybe install it if it's not installed already. And for the 1A exercise, we should make a scatter plot of the expected life length versus the gross domestic product per capita. And the graph should be similar to the plot shown here. So let's see what we can do here. First of all, I would like to load the Gapminder dataset here and uh, I get an error that there is no package called uh, Gapminder. So tools, install packages and then I can uh, install it. It shouldn't take that long. I think it's ready now. So now we have the, the Gapminder um, dataset available and we can take a look at how it's structured. Uh, I know that the uh, the data set is named Gapminder uh, here. And here we have information from the country Afghanistan, which resides in Asia from the year 1992, where the expected life length were 28 years, and the population size was uh, 8 million or so, and it had a GDP per capita of uh, 700 and something. So 
yeah, we have the, the data where we want to go for. Um, in the exercise, uh, in the exercise, we only need to look at uh, data from the year uh, 1992. So we can use a filter command to get rid of. Uh, oh, sorry, I forgot to load the tidyverse uh, package. Thank you. So then I should be able to, to filter it. And now um, we only have data from the year 1992. And this is what should uh, be part of our plot. <coughs> so let's see what we can uh, do with this. Um, somehow we need to take the data we have over here and put it into this plot. So we have the GDP on the x-axis and the expected life length on the y-axis and the colors of the dots uh, should be determined by the continent. So let's take this data and push it onto a ddplot. And when we reach to ddplot, we switch from this pipe operator to a plus sign for whatever reason the, the developer choose to do that. Um, but that's how it is. On the plot, we should uh, add some points, and I'll do that with the geom point, uh, geom here, and we should specify the position and color of these points. That's determined by this aesthetics. So here we can specify the uh, year and um, and the GDP per capita and so on. So the first value is what we want on the x-axis, we can do so. Then we can write what we want on the y-axis, and that's the uh, life expected length. And uh, color, we can set that to the continent, like this. Then let's see if we get a plot. Oh yeah. And if we look at the plot here, we can see that we are already getting quite close to, to the plot uh, that we want. We are missing some uh, labels on the plot or the axis. So I'll just copy this one. And we can add that using the labs command. So what we want on the x-axis as a label we can set here with labs and as option for that state x equals and then for the y-axis uh, we should write it life in expectancy. And then the title we can also specify here. So I forgot to copy this. Copy, paste, and now let's see what it looks like. So what we have here is a plot that looks more or less. Uh, identical to what was um, given in the exercise. <coughs> good. So now we have solved uh, 1a. It is a really good idea, even if we have actually solved the exercise, it's a good idea to uh, get a few uh, words on how we have uh, done this. And we can put them here uh, to to create the, the plot, uh, I have loaded the gapminder data or package and filter the content of the gapminder data frame. So only uh, rows from the year is kept. These uh, data are then forwarded to ddplot and visualized with a geom point.
now we can see if we can export this to PDF. Uh, so it now uh, chunks a bit on this, and it states that it, something failed here. And well, I have seen this error before. It complains about a Unicode character, this uh, either a square root or a check mark, which is from up here. So I would like to get rid of this one. <coughs> And there is a command here named suppress package startup messages. And if we use that, uh, the problem should uh, go away. So we can see if we can knit it once again, and see if we get a PDF file in, in this case. Okay, here we are. So here there is some text and the R code for generating the plot. And finally, the, the plot is inserted down here. So that's a good start. So let's continue and uh, work a bit more on the 1B exercise. And I'll just make a bit more space here. Uh, then in 1B we should describe the relation we have just plotted. And uh, we can try to put some words on, on what we are seeing. Um, and when you should describe a graph like this, try to imagine you want someone else to draw the actual uh, graphics without uh, showing uh, it. So you need to tell whatever is uh, important on this uh, this figure. So the, the scatter plot uh, shows the relation between. Uh, Cross domestic product and uh, expected life length on the y axis. Um, the GDP values are in the range zero to what would that be? 35,000 uh, dollars and the uh, expected life links is in the range. Um, what would that be? Approximately a twenty to uh, eighty years. Um, when the GDP increases, the life length also increases. Um, And the relation uh, and the increase in, uh, in expected uh, life length is uh, largest, it's much larger for small values of GDP. or GDP values above 20,000 dollars, there is no increase or almost no increase in, in life length. So this is uh, what this could uh, be described. So. You could also continue on uh, writing a bit about the, that the African continents are usually having both low uh, GDP values, but also expected life links and the remaining of uh, the countries we know of uh, are, are placed uh, much higher in the expected life links. But let's stop here.
and then we have the 1C exercise where we are asked to make a linear model of the expected life length in Europe. Um, and only for, for the people in Europe. So let's see if we can, first of all, uh, take the, the proper data we want to, to use and then uh, um, make a plot it and make a, a proper model. So first of all, we need to extract the data that are from 1992 and that the continent is, uh, is Europe. Oh, I'm missing a T here, like this. So here we have some uh, data, and we can just store it. Uh, values for Europe. So now we have stored the data in this uh, variable, and what we can do afterwards is to uh, first of all. Uh, plot these data using ggplot. And that was the GDP per cap. And so now we have something here. It's definitely not a straight line, but even if it's not a straight line, there could be some kind of relation between increasing uh, GDP per capita would lead to an increase in, in life length. So let's see if we can plot something to, to this. I can move this up here and then it will be shared. Uh, then I can uh, add a a stat smooth operator to it and specify it should be a linear model and we'll see how uh, ddplot figures that there should be a linear relation um, between these uh, lines but we haven't got any details about this line so let's see if we can uh, find that first of all we'll just write what we have done here uh, plot of the relevant uh, data year equals our oh, years 92 and continent is Europe and added a linear trend line of it so what we can see here is that when the GDP per cap increases, the life length also increases. So our model should uh, show us that somehow. So uh, now we need to see if we can build a, a model. And for that, we can use a LM function. <coughs> and we can take a look at how the LM function can be used. It's usually down in the last part here. So, um, So we can ask it to predict this value based on, on the value down here. So we'll want to predict the life expected length based on the GDP per cap. And we want to use the data in um, these uh, values for Europe. And we can just store the fit. Variable name fit. Oh, I've got a in parentheses. Good. And we can see a summary of this uh, fitted model, which uh, first of all states which equation it has tried to fit, and then we're given the values of the intercept, that is uh, where the curve um, intersects the y axis and um, a coefficient on the GDP per cap. 
uh, value. So here we have some values here, and we also have some standard errors on the t values and whether they are actually needed for the model or not um, by some some p values over here. And in both cases, these values are very low, so the model needs both of these. Um, from the output of uh, the, the model is about to be, and then we can write up the, the model. So we have the HRM. We want to state that the expected life length will be, and then we have this value. Um, 69.54 plus uh, this value over here and if I can move the um, comma enough places then it should look like this there should be one two three four yeah uh, places we have moved it then we have the uh, the GDP uh, per cap uh, value here. So this is our fiddle model uh, to it, and um, the model is found to be, and based on the reported p values for the two. Uh, determined yeah, uh, values. Um, we see that they both are needed for the model. Okay. So given this, um, we are almost finished with this uh, exercise. One thing you could uh, look into here would be to, to look at how the um, residuals are spread along this line. Is there a clear trend in how they are um, positioned along the, um, the fitted line? And I don't think there is a clear trend. There might be a very small trend that at the, the both extremes the, there are some points lying below the curve, and in the middle, there are some points lying above the curve. Um, by looking at uh, the there is seen no clear pattern. This means that the linear model makes sense. Uh, or linear model seems to make sense in this case. Good. So what we have covered now is everything that's related to the exercise one in the exam set from uh, 2018. And I hope you have learned something by following through here.